Hey guys, Tomorrow Shadow 34 here, and today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Cyberverse um, Starscream. Um, this is the one with the orbital assault carrier, um, you know, the, kind of the battle pack. Um, which in, this was that the only one I actually wanted. I saw quite a few today. Um, well, there's only two released at the moment. There's Bumblebee, and there's this, and this is the only one that actually looks good. Um, you know, out of all the ones that we've actually seen, I mean, even Shockwave doesn't really look that good. But I really do like. Um, the look of this set. The only reason I got it, it really is for the Orbital Assault Carrier, which is one of those fighters that we saw in the movie, um, which I really like the look of. So it's why I bought it, really. Starscream looks cool as well, but really, this is the main attraction right here. Um, anyway, here's the box. Um, it's kind of battered on mine a little bit, but you can't really see it that much. Um, yeah, Cyberverse, Collect the World, 3 in N1. It's got loads of different languages on this box. Um, and I set the kind of symbol on there. It's level one, um, difficulty level, on the um, side here. We do have a very very small bio. Um, says, Starscream is a master tactician and pilot. That's all we get for the, other than the UK. We don't get a proper bio. And we have a nice picture of Starscream. On the back, uh, we just have pictures of you know the actual figure itself. This is the base mode, the orbital assault carrier mode, and that looks to be like an aircraft carrier. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, yeah, but you know it says three and one, um, and you know you flip around on here. This way, um, got the Bowie Battle Bunker set, which looks terrible in person. I really didn't like it, and it actually I, th I believe it comes with a little diorama kind of thing um, where. You know, the inside of the box can open out, and, you know, there's a background to it. So, that's going to be kind of cool. So, let me get this guy open, and let's take a look. Okay, so here is Starscream and his Orbital Assault Carrier out of his packaging. Um, I really, really like this set. Um, I think it is a great set. This thing is awesome. I love the Orbital Assault Carrier. Starscream's meh. It's okay. Um, is is an okay little figure. I wouldn't really say he's an upgrade from his original Legends figure, because I did kind of like that figure. Um didn't think it was too bad and this one um you know the quality just doesn't feel right on this one i mean it's got really 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 loose leg joints on this and the you know the joints and the arms aren't very you know strong but he will stand up which is the main thing um you know that's, that's kind of okay um you know i wish these could kind of just, i don't know just flip up a little bit you know, like on the deluxe um but you know it's only a legion figure so i'm not going to complain too much um you know, you can kind of just sit him there. He doesn't really do much, you know, with the base. You can just kind of stand him on top of it and have him dominating whoever he's shooting at using the base. Um, you kind of like to stand him down here. He just he just looks a little bit better standing down there. But it's, he's supposed to stand on a little, little platform. Or, although, that does kind of look like a chair. So you could kind of sit him down on it. Um, so that's kind of neat. Um, but, you know, Starscream isn't that bad. Um... He does have some neat articulation. Um, he's got a ball joint here. He's got a little hinge joint, um, ball jointed at the hip, and he's also got a little rotating joint. No um, knee articulation because it does have the kind of crap chicken leg thing, um, and the head does not move. Okay, let's transform Starscream into his vehicle now because you don't really need him in robot mode for much more of this. Um, you know, to interact with this set. Um, in fact, one thing, one one other thing I want to show off is actually this gun. Um, it does come with a gun. Um, Starscream, it's, he can hold it, he's got two little handles on this gun, um, he's got the little Legion class handle for it, and he's also got the Mech Tech holder, so a Deluxe can hold it as well, um, but if you just take the little handle, and he can actually hold it, um, yeah, if you move the missile it doesn't look as ridiculous, but you know, you get my idea, um, anyway, let's transform him, um, first thing we're going to do, we're going to lift this up, like that, um, fold these, fold that down, kind of angle these, um, Fins, however you want them. Um, then we're going to come around here, um, rotate these out like that, um, and just fold these arms in like that. Then just kind of just kick the legs up. That's what, they don't really tab in; they just kind of lead, you know, just kind of rest there. Um, then we're just going to pull these arms. There's a little peg there that you can see sticking out, and it'll just kind of wedge in there. Um, it really doesn't hold them, um, but it's just you know somewhere to put it. Um, yeah, and there is Starscream in his F22 Raptor mode. It's not a bad looking play mode actually. Um doesn't really hold together that well, so um I'd probably rate this about a five out of five. Um because you know it doesn't really hold together. Um you know you've just got the legs kind of sticking out there and the arms, it's just it's kinda 
I'm not going to, you know, blame it too much because it is a Cyrus figure, so, um, you know, engineering is not as brilliant, but it's it's still, it's okay. Alright, now onto the main attraction, this awesome piece of plastic. I really, really like the engineering of this, um, you know, this base mode. Um, it's definitely very cool. Um, it's one of the strongest of the modes. Um, the strongest mode is obviously, you know, the orbital assault carrier, the fighter jet that was used for the, um, you know, the Decepticons that we saw flying around Chicago. Um, I really, really like this uh, mode. Um, it's kind of cool. It's got these guns up here, which do kind of rotate, um, but they don't, you know, with the... I would have liked it if these were on ball joints so you could kind of move it, but they just kind of go up and down. Um, yeah. yeah, make of that what you will, but um, that's how it is. You can kind of have it like that as well, if you like, um, but then, you know, why would you? I don't know why. Um, also, there is kind of a little feature for the orbital assault carrier mode. Um, Starscream can kind of sit under this in vehicle mode, um, kind of pop it out, but it looks kind of dumb whilst there, so I'm not going to do it. Um, but yeah, but overall, I approve of this little base mode. Right, so now I'm going to transform him into the fighter jet mode, which isn't that hard to get to. And it does kind of have a little bit of automorph, you kind of move this and it all just kind of slides around and that. Um, it is kind of fun. Um, yeah. Anyway, basically what we're going to do is we're just going to fold this down. Um, effectively, and that's really all you do um, to get to the mode. Um, there is the orbital assault carrier mode. In fact, you just want to rotate these guns down. Actually, I kind of forgot about that. And then um, also, what you can actually see on this side uh, does kind of have the mold of this gun. So obviously, you can see that we're going to peg it in on the other side to make it a little bit more symmetrical. Um, so there we go. Um, there is the fighter jet mode, which I think is possibly the best mode um, of this set. Um, I think it's really, really cool. You can Again, you can take it and put it like that if you like, um, which doesn't look too bad either. Um, but it's really up to personal preference. I think this looks kind of cool as well. Um, yeah, but you know, overall, just a very, very nice mode. Um, Starscream doesn't really do much um, in this mode. Um, you know, I, I, I wish you could kind of have him, like, kind of flying it, but you can't. Um, the only interaction you have with Starscream in this mode is basically, he will kind of slot in underneath here. Um, you kind of open this up, and he will slot in, but again, I'm not going to do it because it looks so dumb. I mean, it's just kind of, it's a, it's a, it's a fighter jet, or a Decepticon fighter, carrying another fighter jet. It's just, it's dumb, I don't want really, you know... Starscream doesn't really have any compatibility with this vehicle mode, um, but it is fairly cool. Okay, now I'm going to transform it into its base mode. No, not the base mode, kind of the um, carrier mode. Um, it's kind of weird. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to lift this up like that. I'm going to take these um, thrusters, we're going to rotate them up like that, and then we're going to fold it all the way down. And there we go. There is the um, carrier mode. I, I'm not really sure about this. It looks cool. Um, it is pos quite possibly the most solid of the modes that he's got. But it's just, I'm wondering what this is supposed to be. I wonder if, if it's like kind of Doctor Who-ish. You know, like, if you've seen Doctor Who, there's a ship called the Valiant. It's an aircraft carrier that flies. Um, so I'm wondering if it's kind of something like that, again, you know, with the idea of it. But I don't know. It, it, it's still kind of cool, though. It's it Obviously, it's got the weapons and that. Um... Yeah, and Starscream is supposed to kind of sit on this and, you know, kind of take off. So it doesn't look too bad. It does kind of remind me of G1 Flattop. Um, I think it's Flattop. Um, but there we go. So that is about it for the figure. Um, it doesn't really do much more than that. Um, he's, got, he's got three modes, which are a lot of fun. Um, and Starscream isn't too bad either. So it's a fairly nice figure. Um, I do have one more thing I want to show you, though. If you take the inside of the box um, for the figure, you do get a little background, you know, that you can kind of sit him in, I suppose, um, which doesn't look too bad. You kind of get, you can just kind of see Chicago, um, you know, giant explosions all around and crap like that. So, you know, it's a, it's a nice little feature, um, so you can kind of display them with a little bit of a diorama. Um, I'm a dumbass and I haven't assembled it properly, but I'll. I'm probably not going to use it anyway, I'm probably going to throw it away. Overall, I do highly recommend this set. It's an awesome little, um, you know, display um, figure. And this thing is just awesome. Starscream's kind of cool. Um, you know, it's a Cyberverse figure. Um, but still, this thing is pretty darn cool. So if you're going to buy it, definitely get it for this. Um, 
you know, it's just a lot of fun to mess about with. Anyway, um, that was my, re my review, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later.